and be honest with you guys, man. And what I want to talk about today is what I wish people had to tell me coming into spirituality that I'm going to tell you guys so you'll be better prepared going into it. The number one thing is being open-minded, open spirit, and open-hearted. And knowing that all of the things that you believe, you have to forget about them and just be open to your new experiences and be open to what God is going to bring you. For me, being open to spirituality and being open to my spiritual side has opened a whole nother life for myself. My physical strength and everything is tied to my spiritual belief and my belief in myself and my belief in my gift and my belief in my energy. And for me, it's just the way you control your energy is you have to believe in yourself. You have to tell yourself positive things. You have to listen to positive videos and you have to be encouraging to yourself. And there will be negative times where you have negative thoughts or that negative voice, but you can drown it out by just telling yourself positive things. I personally normally have headphones and I basically stay in my own world. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm saying I'm always listening to positive things or motivational things or encouraging things that empowers my gift or empowers my belief or empowers what I know I am. And that's the way you maintain your power or you maintain your gift. Now, if you choose to, if you mess up and choose to listen to that negative voice or listen to that negative energy, it will take your power away from you if you choose to agree. But if you build a positive bubble around yourself, where nothing can come in it but positivity, you will be fine. And you have to believe in it, and you have to believe in your strength, and you have to believe in your gift, and you will be fine. And another thing I wish they had told me, you have to be open to criticism of yourself. And that was one of the toughest things for me, because when I was younger, I used to be under the impression that I did nothing wrong. Other people do things wrong, and I'm basically, I don't want to say perfect, but always right. You're never always right. There's some things you have to own up by, about yourself, own up that you don't know at all, own up to the fact that you have to be open-hearted, and you have to look forward to learning more, and you have to look to work with God as a partner, and that you don't have to do everything yourself you don't have to make everything about you you don't have to make everything your responsibility god will help you if you're open to it so you just have to remain open and remain positive and accept your criticism and work to make them better that's the biggest thing i had to learn about my spiritual spiritual experience really just staying open and staying positive and staying motivational and staying being and staying being a positive influence and just keeping positive energy flowing and just accepting my criticism and one of the other things i had to come to accept is that god will only do everything up to a certain point he won't do everything like say for example you wanted a new job he will get you the interview, but it's up to you to go and do the interview. If you pray for it and he gets you the interview and you like, nah, I don't want to work there. Nah, I don't want to do that. Then you not. Then don't be surprised when you don't get the job, and don't complain when you don't don't get the opportunity you wanted. If he does the work to get you there, you have to meet him halfway. You have to do your half of the work. That's what makes blessings work. That's what makes everything work. The belief is the key. And you have to just lock into yourself, lock into your beliefs, and lock into your energy. And feel. I personally feel like, and this is just me, this is how I've learned to deal with it, that 
As long as I'm locked into my bubble, as long as I'm locked into my energy, it's nothing that nobody can stop me. It's nothing that can stop you. It's nothing that can beat you. It's nothing that can harm you. As long as you stay in your little safety bubble and believe in yourself, it's nothing that you can't do. And I feel like I'm living proof of that every day. And I just want to continue to prove that, continue to grow, and continue to learn from life, and continue to use those lessons to become, hopefully, one of the greatest spiritual leaders of, of this generation. And I hope to carry it into the future and teach my future family, my future kids about it, and just continue to teach the world about it and make the world a better place with it. That's my number one goal in life, to just continue to make the world a better place, continue to make myself a better place, and to continue to be open to learning more about life each and every day, as we all should. And I just want to tell you, you can do anything. You just have to have an open mind and open heart and recognize your shortcomings and be willing to work on them and be willing to see God as a partner you do 50%, he'll do 50%, and you will get stronger, you will get faster, you will get better. But you have to believe in it. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your religion, and you have to be willing to do the work. And once you do those things, you will have everything God ever wanted for you to have. Like now, I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm comfortable. I'm in the best relationship of my life. And that's all thanks to God and my spiritual work and my willingness to be open to life. And I thank him for it every day. And I just pray to keep building on it, keep moving forward, and keep being the best version of myself each and every day. Every day is not easy. I do have hard days. I do have days where I'm extremely negative on myself. I do have days where I'm down on myself. But I take those days and try to learn lessons from them and try to continue to improve and try not to be so hard on myself or be so critical on myself. And I'm learning to trust myself and I'm learning to trust my opinions and I'm learning to trust my intuition. And what intuition is, is when you have an inner knowing of what's going on around you or you may have a vision or a dream of what's going on around you. You learn to trust that and you will never go wrong. Just don't fight yourself. When you know something's going on, trust what spirit tells you, listen to it, and you will be fine. Don't fight yourself. Learn to let life be what it is and go with the flow. It will make your life better. It will be less stressful and you will have less, you will have more success and let's fail you. Go with the flow. Don't fight against the flow. And that's everything you need if you're getting into spirituality. Or that's everything I think you need to be introduced to a spiritual journey, in my opinion. That's everything that worked for me. But I hope this helps you. I hope this motivates you. I hope this finds you well. And I hope this continue to encourage you to follow my page, follow my, and hopefully as soon as I get some more merchandise, I'll be letting you guys know. Shop with me, Handy Capable Brand, we coming up, and I just want to continue to travel the world, spreading my spiritual message, helping people get better, helping people get stronger, helping people find their power, especially with disabilities, and I just want to continue to tell the world that it works and it's a great thing for the world. It will better you, it will strengthen you, it will empower you. And just have a good day and I will be back with more tomorrow, depending on what spirit wants me to talk about, in my opinion.